Hey guys, and welcome to the first edition of Chat with Matt. Basically, I thought up of this new series where I could discuss topics on the gaming community. And uh, today I wanted to discuss the game that freaked me out the most. And it's not Resident Evil, it's not Silent Hill, it's not Dead Space, or The Last of Us. The game that freaked me out the most was one on a PS2. Now this game is called Rule of Rose. Um, originally it was banned in a few countries for, uh, well, I guess violence towards kids, maybe some kind of, I don't know, anyway. I found it on eBay and uh, I'd seen previews of it in my PlayStation magazine and I thought, oh, okay, maybe I'd like to give this a go. But it had been banned, so I thought, okay, fine. But then, yeah, I found it on eBay, and I bought it. And I have to say, it's a pretty freaky game. It's not like the kind of game that makes you really jump. I guess it does make you jump in places, but it's more a psychological, creepy horror to it. And um, basically, the story is about this girl who loses her memories after she's been involved in an airship crash, if that's it, and with her parents, and her parents die and she becomes an orphan. So she loses her memory, she gets sent to this orphanage, where there's a group of really creepy sinister kids, and they're called the Red Crayon Aristocrats, I think that was right as well, hopefully. Basically, to become a member of this club, the main character, whose name I've completely forgotten about, nice research Matt, She's got to, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, she's got to go around collecting specific items for them. But these kids are like, really cruel, really sadistic, and it's just, oh, they creep me well out. And this, their club takes like place in an attic, I think. And I don't know, they, I think they like put a, the main character into a coffin at the beginning of this bloody bag, and they're like, ugh. Anyway, so yeah. There's these little creatures called imps you gotta fight, and they're pretty creepy as well. But, what the creepiest thing about this game for me, was the tale of Stray Dog. Now basically, one of the girls in the orphanage, she makes up this tale. It's kind of like Peter and the Wolf. Which goes, where she like says, oh look, Stray Dog's coming, Stray Dog's coming, run, you gotta run away, hide! And of course, it's supposed to be like a hoax. Uh, until later on, and um, basically, Stray Dog turns out to be this guy, a human being, who crawls around on all fours like a dog. One of the girls trained him to act like a dog, and it's just really, really creepy, and oh man, there's just so many things about this game that, after I finished playing it, I actually sold it bag on eBay because it freaked me out that much. It's I don't know what it was. It's just everything. It's loads more. I can't. I've forgotten so much of the game because I've like blocked it, blocked it out. I think. But yeah, I didn't love the game. I I did enjoy certain parts and stuff, but the creepiness of those kids. I couldn't wait to finish it, especially the last bit. I don't want to spoil it anymore for anybody in case they want to play it. But yeah. Yeah, I can see why it could have been banned. There was, like, sexual tones in it as well. I think that's maybe why it did get banned. But, yeah, that's the game that's freaking me out. So, uh, without further ado, here's the trailer. Say where I reach my shame When I call your name so please don't set me free I'm as heavy as can be I will do you harm I will break my arm I'm a victim of your chance I want to be dead When I am, I'm in bed I can be so mean I 
like to shame you I would like to blame you Just because of my love to you I love itself Just a princess as girls as in vain I don't take drive it away. Don't myself just to breathe. So, guys, my question to you is what game freaked you out the most? So feel free to comment below or uh, do a video response. And uh, that's all from me. I don't want to talk about this anymore. So I'll catch you next time. See you then.